Stay all day. Stay all day. Balloverseas.com. The Overseas Basketball Blueprint. Another harsh truth about the overseas basketball world. You need live game experience more than you need more dribbling drills. Did you hear me? You need live game experience more than you need more dribbling drills. Let me tell you something, a distinct difference that I found between players who actually play overseas and players who uh, are talking about playing overseas. The players who actually, the players who talk about playing overseas often tell me, well, look, Dre, I watch your videos with the drills and all that stuff, and I watch, and then they, they name off whatever YouTubers or whoever they learn from or whatever programs they got to work on their handle and their jumping and their, maybe some of my programs to work on your handle, your jumping, your shooting, your this and your that to just work on your game. And players will tell me how much game they got. Like I can do this and I'm undersized, but I can jump high or I can run the pick and roll and I know I can dribble and I can create my own shot and people can't guard me. I, I use my quickness and they start selling me on their physical attributes and skills for playing basketball. Here's what you need to understand. Let me tell you the other side. The players that I know who actually play overseas, do they do drills? Yes. Do they work on their games? Yes. Do they have trainers? Yes. Do they go to the gym, the weight room, cardio? Yes, yes, yes. They do all those things. Yes, they do drills and all that stuff that many of you players are doing. But let me tell you what they're doing that you're not doing or what they've done that you have not done. They have played in many, many, many more live basketball games than you have. They know how to take those skills that they develop in practicing and apply them to a live game. And a lot of you players spend way too much time doing the drills and working on your games rather than finding games to play in so you can show your game or develop your game or learn what is missing in your game so that you can They'll fix those gaps so that you can get in another game, show that you can actually do something in the game so you can get a job playing professional basketball. And I take a little bit of responsibility for this. When it came to putting drills on the internet for just working on your game by yourself in an empty gym in basketball, I was the first one doing it. There's thousands of people doing it now. Shout out to them. But I was the first one doing it, and a lot of players saw that, and it and obviously it's fun. I did it. I was spending a lot of time doing it. There's opportunity in it. If you want to get you no know, YouTube famous, or you want to be famous on the internet for posting videos and doing drills and stuff like that and being an influencer, it's all good. But understand, you will not become a professional basketball player by doing dribbling drills in an empty gym. You will not become a professional basketball player because you got 100,000 followers on Instagram. You will not become a professional basketball player because you got a viral moment on the internet from doing the trick shot. All right, none of those things will make you a pro basketball player. All right, playing in a, a YouTubers or you no know, influencers celebrity basketball game is not professional basketball. Okay, <laughs> playing in a, a basketball event and there's a cash prize if you win is not professional basketball. Playing in the you no know, some three on three tournament in the summer and doing your thing and you got it all on video and you were, you were killing them. That is not professional basketball. Professional basketball is on a team with a contract and y'all got practice and there's a coach and y'all run plays. Y'all know that's five on five professional basketball. Okay, that's professional basketball. If you want to play at that level, you need game experience, not watching games, not hanging with people who play in games, not having people who play in games tell you that you're good enough to play professional basketball. None of those things will get you a job. What will get you a job is you getting game experience so that when it's time for you to show your game in a 5-on-5 in front of people who actually matter. I'm not talking about uh, Instagram commentators. I'm talking about people who can actually put you on. Agents, scouts, managers, team owners. When you get in front of them, they want to see what you can do in a game. All right, fuck your dribbling drills. Fuck how many shots you made in a row on IG. Fuck a trick shot. Right, fuck a trick shot. Okay. Can you play in a 5-on-5? Have you done it? Can you prove it? When? Where? Where's the footage? If you don't have it, you need to get it. You players out here who are doing the drills, listen, I respect doing the drills. Trust me, I dedicate a lot of time doing drills. The only reason I was doing drills was so I could get ready for the live game experience. And while I was doing those drills, the only time I was focused on drills was when I was doing them. 
after that, I'm looking into the, all right, how do I get myself seen? How do I get known? How do I get people to know who I am? How do I go to an exposure camp? How do I get an agent? How do I get some exposure for my game? How do I get seen? How do I you know, connect with my next you know, manager? How do I connect with the team? You know, how do I get this contract? That's the things that I was thinking about that I wasn't talking about on camera when I was showing y'all the, the dribbling drills and the, the Allen Iverson and let me show you this dunk and things like that. That stuff is just to get me ready for on the court, but I was playing in five on fives, people. Now my five on fives, I didn't put those on YouTube because when I'm on YouTube, I just put a camera, put a tripod and let it film me. But when I'm playing five on five, obviously the game goes up and down. I would need a camera person. I didn't have a camera person. All right, right now, I'm recording this straight by myself. Right now, if you can see me, I'm recording this straight. It's just a camera here. There's no other people here. It's just me on my balcony recording. And this is how I was doing my YouTube, except the court was over there and I was doing my dribbling drills and you was just watching me do my stuff. My dribbling, shooting, dunking, whatever the hell I was doing. Understand that that's all good. That's cool. It will make you better as a player. It will help you develop your skills. And if you're trying to be a brander, brand, what they call it, brand campaigns, influencer, X, Y, Z, if you want to do that, it's all good. That's where you want to, That's where you want your career to go in basketball. It's cool. But if you're trying to become a professional and play five-on-five five basketball in live games, you need to play five-on-five five basketball in live games. Okay? You cannot get ready for playing live games by doing drills in an empty gym. Let me say that again. You cannot get ready to perform in live games by doing drills in an empty gym. Did everybody hear me? Does anyone need me to repeat that? Did people in the back hear what I just said? You got to play five on fives. Go find a, a pro-am league. Uh, go sign up for TBT. Go uh, get in a summer league. Go find the players who can actually hoop. Go get yourself with an agent, a trainer. Go to a exposure camp. Go somewhere where you can play five on five. You need that game experience. Trust me, all the drills in the world when I get you ready for a live five on five if you ain't been in enough of them. All right, so all you players doing your drills and you got skills, listen, you're trying to be an Instagrammer, you, you didn't, you're doing everything you need to do. You're good. And I ain't trying to teach you how to be an Instagram influencer because I'm not one. But if you're trying to be a live five on five ball player, I can tell you about that. Now, if you're serious about it, you need. I just told you what you need to do. Now, this book right here is called The Overseas Basketball Blueprint. If you don't have this book yet, it's either because you don't want to play ball overseas or you just didn't know about it. So I'm going to fix both of those. If you want to play ball overseas, all right, keep listening. If you don't, then all right, we're done here. If you want to play, this book right here, 237 pages, everything you need to know to get started playing professional basketball overseas, even if you're unknown, even if nobody has ever recruited you, even if you haven't been scouted, even if you don't know where to begin. I didn't know where to begin. I was unknown coming out of a D3. I had a nine-year career overseas. I'm going to tell you how to get started yourself. The book's paid for already. The book is free. All you do is cover a small shipping charge. Balloverseas.com. And we have books on the business side of the game, on exposure camps, and on agents. So if you want all of it, we'll give you all of it. That is at balloverseas.com. You ready to work on your game? You ready to play overseas? Balloverseas.com. Get this book. Tell us where to ship it. We're going to get this book into your hands as quickly as possible. Work on your game. Dre all.